Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Paint Wing. In today's video, I'll be giving a quick demonstration on how to paint this little robin here. For this painting, I'll be using a few different brushes. You don't need to use this many brushes. You could probably get away with just three sizes, such as a zero, a six, and number 12. As for colors, I'll be using Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Payne's Gray, Cadmium Orange Hue, and Yellow Ochre. I'll begin this painting by painting the eye. First, I'll be outlining the eye with my gray paint using my smallest brush. I'm making sure the paint is very saturated. And then after I create my initial outline, I'll blend things out with my brush. I'm just going to dip it into clean water and then blend out this line. Try not to use too much water in order to stay in control. And then here I'm adding a little extra gray. The two white dots I'm leaving here are highlights. Now I'm adding a light amount of gray around the outside of the eye. Again, using my gray paint and my smallest brush, I'm going to paint around the robin's beak. I'm going to start off by outlining the beak, just like I did with the eye, and then I'll just dip my brush into a little bit of water and blend this line out to create a gradient. And then here I'm going to fill in the lower beak as well. And I'm going to create a small outline around the eye. Next I'll be moving on to the orange breast of the robin. Here are the colors I'll be using. I'll be using a little larger brush for this process. Using a larger brush will allow me to apply more paint and also use more water. I'm just going to apply my cadmium orange paint right here, giving a little space between the eye. Now I'm going to add some water directly to the orange paint I just added. This will dilute it a little bit. Next I'm going to add some yellow ochre directly to the paper and allow the colors to mix. Here 
Here's the consistency of the paint I'm using. And I'll add it directly to the wash. And then again, I'll add some water to softly blend it out. Now I'm moving back to my number zero brush to paint around the eye. The smaller brush allows me to paint this tight area. And then I blend it out with a little water. A couple little dabs here for some variation. And here I'm adding just some plain clean water to the wash to create texture. Next I'll be adding some Payne's Gray to the Robin. Here's the consistency of the paint I will be using before I add it. I'm adding this while the orange is still wet. And then a little extra water here. Now using my smallest brush, I'll create some feather marks. I'm just dragging the paint outwards with my brush. I will also add some gray paint to the head. Now for the wings, I'll be using my burnt umber paint. Using my brush, I'll be creating quick marks for the wings. This will help create some movement in my piece. And then let's add some water here to blend and soften the lines I just created. Now I'm gonna allow this to dry a little bit. And then while the wash is still damp, I'll be adding some more burnt sienna to the wash in order to darken things up. And then a little water to disrupt things. I'm adding a little more color to the wing with my brown paint. Now 
I still feel like this piece is a little light, so I'll be adding another layer of orange after everything is dry. You might not need to add this layer if you're satisfied with how things look so far. Now I'm just going to lightly blend things out. Using my small brush with my gray paint, I'm adding some feather details here. and a little extra orange around the eye. And some brown over here. Now for the tail feathers, I'll be using my number 12 brush dipped into some brown paint that is pretty watered down. And add a little gray to it. Lastly, I'll be finishing around the eye. I'm going back to my smallest brush and adding some little details. Alright, and now the piece is complete. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.